Silbot here, um, back with an introduction for a new series of videos that are going to be coming along interspersed with my Bangkok videos. Um, the idea is that I'll alternate between one of these and um, a Geek's Guide to Bangkok Part 2. Mainly because when it comes to Transformers, a um, couple of reasons I'm kind of taking a break from it for a bit. One, I don't have the money to justify spending a hundred euro on a toy that I'll play with for a couple of days and then put on a shelf to just gather dust because, well, my Transformers collection's in the sitting room and I live in the living room, so um, I don't have the money to do that. You know, at least with other stuff that I've been buying, at least I've got the justification that, you know, I've got to paint them, put them together and do things with them. Um, the other reason I think is I'm a little bit burnt out by it. Uh, so, uh, this is the second topic of videos, and it's going to be on another thing that I've been doing for a great many years, in the form of Games Workshop. Now, I have been doing Games Workshop since I was about 12 years old, when I got my very first Games Workshop Milton Bradley board game, Space Hulk, uh, which I've still got a copy of. And uh, that was bought for me for Christmas by my grandparents who picked it up out of Argus. So that's how long I've been doing Games Workshop when Games Workshop collaboration games were still available in shops and not charity shops or going for ludicrous prices on eBay if ever I wanted to sell the damn thing because the version that I've, of Space Hulk that I've got is actually still complete. Um, I think it's just missing three of the gene stealers. So this is going to be uh, the next series of videos a series of videos based around Games Workshop and now if I was to do everything that I know about Games Workshop um, <laughs> you'd have enough information to write a dissertation on it but it's not going to be about that it's going to be focusing on a very particular subject and that subject is who are the good guys or are there any good guys in the 40k universe. Now the 40k universe uh, as a science fiction universe are, is, is vast. There's an awful lot of books, some of which have now got to the point where they're contradicting each other. Um, books, lore, backgrounds and everything. The games, the 40k science fiction universe to me is probably the third most in-depth science fiction universe outside of say Star Trek and Star Wars. To my knowledge, there may be other science fiction universes that are just as deep. Um, but this is the one, this is to my knowledge. Uh, so, and because it's science fiction, it doesn't include things like Dungeons and Dragons, Forgotten Realms, things like that. So, in answer to this question, there are a couple of structures that I'm going to have to follow. Uh, and the main one is going to be, each video is going to focus on an aspect of a race that has a codex. Now it has to be a playable codex. So I'm not going to be doing the squats um, because they were just drunk dwarves in space on trikes. Uh, so the squats are not going to be in there, but I will be drawing references from older codexes um, in reference to what they used to be like to how they are now, but it's not going to be um, a lecture on how these games play. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, well, you should have Commander Farsight doing this, and you should do have Eldrad Ultran doing this, and you only need to use Orion Rakarf when it's not a gaming tip, because as most people know, my track record, especially with Space Marines as a gamer, is shocking. Um, <coughs> excuse me, unless I'm playing tag, but there we go. So it is going to be wholly on the fluff and the lore of the game rather than its tabletop game variant. <coughs> rather than its tabletop game variant. Uh, the reason it has to have a codex is because there's an awful lot of PDFs and FAQs and micro decks and little bits here and there that would make up 30 or 40 videos. So there's not going to be a separate video on is I am an evil. Um, are the far sight enclaves the good guys, or the Raven Guard, or you know the different orc tribes, or things like that? It's going if it has a codex listed on the Games Workshop website, then it is going to be 
the game. Uh, sorry, if it has an army with a codex on the Games Workshop website, that is what I'm going to be covering. So it'll probably be about in the reach of about 12 videos. Um, they are going to be interspersed between my Geek's Guide to Bangkok videos, as I said. And it's going to be a um, probably an alternating system. The second Geek's Guide to Bangkok, for anyone who's wondering, is going to go up before Christmas. I hope. No, it should do, because all I've got, I've got, I've got about five of them made. Uh, so all I have to do is click upload and then leave my laptop to upload them. But seeing as my Star Wars review took ten hours to upload, Irish internet in the sticks. Wonderful stuff. Um, because I've been doing Games Workshop for so long, I have seen an awful lot of change within the company, within the fluff, within the rules, within the law. Um, especially with the way the company runs itself, I don't agree with a lot of it, but that's not that's a separate video that other people have done and probably done better than I have outside of that. Uh, so the, the point of this video is just to introduce it. And it also kind of makes me beholden to actually make these videos, because if I'm not doing Transformer reviews... I don't want to do what I did a couple of years ago, where I basically vanished from YouTube for a year. Um, though, these videos are not going to go up one week. <laughs> Just to tell you that now. So, yes, that is the point of this video. Uh, it's just an introduction to this further series of videos. Uh, it's also, you know, if anyone has any aspect of a particular race that they want me to bring up, or to mention, or they have any ideas that can go into the videos, then by all means put a comment in below, message me on YouTube, or if you have me on Facebook, message me on Facebook. I don't do Twitter. At all. Or Tumblr, or Reddit, or anything like that. So, yeah. This should be an interesting set of videos. The other thing I'm going to mention about these videos is if you don't know 40k, then... It's not so much a problem. Uh, I don't. I am not going to go into the ridiculous amount of in-depth backstory because if I started talking about Abaddon, then we're going to be here all week. Uh, so the idea is that it gives an overview, as concise as it can be, with as much information as I can put into it, just so that you don't get lost and bogged down in loads of in the lots of little facts and tidbits that I know about Games Workshop um, and its 40k lore. So the first video um, is going to be on the first of the Games Workshop army lists that are presented on their website, which is the Adeptus Sororitas. So 